ओके रे स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी व्हाट इज देयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन अ चार्ज Q इज एट अ पॉइंट बिटवीन टू इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस Q1 एंड Q2 द नेट इलेक्ट्रिक फोर्स ऑन चार्ज Q इज जीरो चार्ज Q1 इज फर्दर फ्रॉम कैपिटल Q देन द चार्ज Q2 व्हाट इज द ट्रू व्हाट इज ट्रू अबाउट द साइंस ऑफ द चार्जेस Q1 एंड Q2 एंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ओके Uh, sorry for that um, blah blah thing that happened in my speech anyways so there are three charges like one is q1 q2 and q so q charge is placed in between q1 and q2 in such a way that the distance from q1 is bigger than the distance from q2 and it is given that the forces that are acting on it they are equal and opposite to each other so much so that they cancel each other and the resultant force becomes zero so this q charge that is placed in between them is uh, experiencing equilibrium anyways so what are our options now signs of the charges q1 and q2 a same b same and opposite first of all they cannot be opposite isn't it like let us say uh, this is positive and this is negative so what will happen in this case this got to have a point like it got to have a sign like it it might be positive or negative just assume it let us say it is positive so this these charges will be having repulsion here and this negative charge will be attracting this charge towards itself how can these two forces cancel each other they cannot so under that case we come to this conclusion that the signs for q1 and q2 have to be same whether both of them can be negative both of them can be positive only then the forces will be acting in the opposite direction so either a or b so c and d are wrong now what about the magnitudes now for the charges so this force now we know that by coulomb's law f is equal to k q into q divided by r square that is the square of the distance between them so if this distance is more okay and force forces are equal if this distance is more it only means that this charge have to be even bigger and q2 have to be lesser because it is nearer to this so if r is lesser this charge q2 have to be lesser otherwise the force will become very very large because it is near to it i repeat this charge is away from this charge okay now why now when this charge is away even then this charge is able to provide the same magnitude of the force there and how is that possible it is possible if this charge becomes bigger and this charge in spite of being nearer to q is not able to provide a bigger force and what does that mean it means q2 has to be lesser so q2 will be lesser than q1 so my answer will definitely be this is how we do it or there is a mathematics also behind it we can we can do like this also k and this central charge q and this will be taken as q1 divided by r1 square this has to be equal to the f2 that is q2 divided by r2 square you can do like that also you can later cancel this thing and so q1 divided by r1 square is equal to q2 divided by r2 square and from here we want to compare q1 and q2 so q1 divided by q2 is r1 divided by r2 whole square this is r1 this is r2 r1 by r2 is greater than 1 it means q1 divided by q2 has to be greater than 1 it only means that q1 is bigger than q2 so this is the mathematical background behind this question so if you want to take this as explanation that is your choice okay my dear students this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel and also share the youtube channel as far as possible all the best bye